Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm coming from Warsaw, Poland, giving you this video from here. And if you haven't already, obviously subscribe to my channel, click that button for daily consistent videos, and follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali, if you guys want to. No, Because they're playing this whole mental health card game because the last two contestants from the last few seasons obviously committed suicide and killed themselves. However, if they were playing the mental health card game, they would obviously let us know why he left because a lot of people are coming up with narratives that could damage him and his credibility and his mental health. So I feel like there's definitely an oxymoronic kind of hypocritical kind of, you know, game going on here and the mental health act is just simply what it is, an act. Well guys, listen. We have two new girls who've come into the villa and they are effing up everything and I'm gagging for it, I'm here for it. This is what we finally need. Narratives and storylines. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I really thought you were going to go toast. If they said to us, to new beginnings. God, that's so awkward. Yeah, that was really awkward. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Danny. That was lovely. And let's get into last night's episode. We have two new girls who have entered the villa and are fucking up everything. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I really thought you were going to toast. If they said to us, yeah. to new beginnings. <laughs> and I am gagging for it, completely living for it. And this is what we need. We need narratives. We need storylines. We need more interesting topics to talk about because Sharif has been kicked out of the villa. And we have no idea why and I'm just liking the energy that Maura has. Forgive me if, I apologize if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. The new Irish girl, I believe. Oh, cool. and where are you from? I'm from Poland. She's from Poland. Where in Poland are you from? Hi, hi. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> where, where, where in Poland, bitches? In we Poland. live in the Warsaw. They live in Warsaw. So, what so can I say? We're talking about Love Island. Do you watch Love Island? No. Have you heard of Love Island? No, you have a girlfriend. Island. Love Island. No. Mm. It's a big show in the UK where people go in to date and couple up. And if you are not in a couple, you, you lose and you have to leave. That's I don't like this kind of place. But yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and now there's an Australia version, there's an America version. So we have... <laughs> you want to make me laugh? <laughs> so much in this video. Okay, we have Molly May who is receiving the karma that she deserves. <laughs> Yeah, cheers. I really thought you were going to go toast. If they said to us, yeah. to new beginnings. <laughs> because of the fact that she tried to go for every single guy in this villa, and now this particular girl has taken Tommy Fury from her direct hands. The relationship. It's better, isn't it? And like, once I'm in a relationship, I put everything into that. I don't play games either because I know what I want in life. Yeah. I'm going to go out and get it. I ain't got time for no games. Yeah, I like that. That's just the way I am. I'm passionate yeah. about it, boxing. And I'm absolutely living for it. They're sitting at the date and you can tell that Mara is very forward. She wants Tommy and she definitely wants to get him. And I think she will at the recoupling that will occur this Friday. Molly Mae is in trouble and I feel like we're all happy for it. And allegedly what people are saying now is that she probably will go home later on in this particular week. So that's what we're excited for. But obviously we're all worried for you one day because I don't think Danny is genuine at all. I don't think they're a good couple together and I don't think this is going to work. It comes off as very disingenuine and I feel like it is not authentic at all either. So I feel like she is in danger. She could also potentially go home, which would be quite funny because Sharif has also gone home as well. So you know, there could be certain narratives there to try and get rid of certain people. And you know, we wouldn't be surprised. We also have Anton who gets the biggest telling off from Amber. That shit. Do you know how? Do you know how she felt when you said that? You didn't think when you spoke. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. Who calls him an absolute waste man? Not obviously, but that's obviously what he is. But the fact that he tried to, you know, compliment Anna with a backhanded compliment, saying that she's not really her type because she's not blonde, and um, but you know, giving her a backward compliment that made her feel quite bad about herself, which I feel like is completely true in terms of the fact that I'm happy that Amber let Anton know what he is an absolute waste man, he's an idiot, he keeps tripping up. He's somebody who was seen as handsome in the villa, but he's having a lot of issues. He's always struggling. He is unable to find somebody, and I feel like it's just hilarious because. Oh, Molly means my type to a T. That's what I want appearance wise. But personality, you? 
in his interview reel, he came on very forward, very pompous, very arrogant, you know, very irritable. And the fact that we are now having him having a completely different journey. Watch, an idiot. The boy is so nice. And he's got a good heart and his intentions are good. But like, I don't know how. And he's blaming it on the Scottish and English kind of interaction, which doesn't make any sense because what you said, irrespective of Scottish, English or wherever you are, um, it's, it's quite bad um, what you said anyhow to Anna. So I feel like that in itself was stupid. And outside in, you're beautiful on the inside and out. Yes, you're maybe not necessarily my absolute type in paper, but I'm looking at someone like Molly, who probably is my type of... And I feel like I'm glad that he got the telling off he deserves. Amber and Michael, I'm living for as a couple. I feel like they're absolutely great. I don't know what he was trying to say. It's like comparing me to Molly. And like, Molly's a great girl, but we're just complete different people. As a couple, and I feel like these two will hopefully thrive, and I want these two to win the show. Now, having said that, I do feel like Curtis is playing a game. I feel like this really isn't pressed upon. Nobody's really talking about it, and I feel like he is now being quite sly. I think he's falling in love with this particular person because of the £50,000 prize, but I do feel like he's playing a completely fake game. Now that everybody's mentioning it and I'm thinking about it twice, it definitely does seem so. And we have Amy who really is stepping on stones and doesn't want to mess anything up and she keeps on getting over emotional and it's definitely not needed and I feel like she's being over dramatic. However, if Curtis is not in the game and he goes for one of the new girls, Amy is in trouble because really and truly nobody else is feeding her in that villa. Anton was for a second, but obviously Curtis snatched her away. So of course we have a lot of people who are in trouble, whether it be Yuande, even Molly May with the karma she deserves. I feel like Danny is definitely sly. However, I like the two new girls, although they look very similar, I feel like they are definitely playing a game that we like because they are building narratives. They are building storylines that we as an audience need because this particular season has been absolutely shit. There's been nothing going on. The storylines have been boring. It's only been this week where a lot has gone on. God, that's so awkward. Yeah, that was really awkward. <laughs> oh, thank you, Danny. That was Not lovely. Awkward. Good and bad. And, you know, we'll just have to see if this begins to level up into the, into the show, literally, that we need it to be. Like, Some people are I? better at being a girl than better at being single. I, I, think, I think that's mm. me. I You're think I don't want to invest time. <laughs> Oh, I oh. feel like those eyes burn in the back of my head. I've got a hole inside of my head. Do let me know what you guys think about this particular episode. What are your thoughts? Do comment down below. I would appreciate all your comments. Let me know if um, you want this particular Mara girl to take Tommy Fury because I feel like, you know, she is what we need. Somebody who, the, the things that she's saying. It was good. That's it. That was Smashed it. Well done. Thank you very much. To be a fucker than a chuck. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Million percent. Are you like, what are you looking for? Long-term relationship? relationship? Uh, Long-term relationship. I hate being single. Like she would want him to eat her out and stuff like that. And you're just like, wow, this type of verbiage we definitely need for this particular show because- On paper, like- It doesn't matter whether it was on paper, on laptop, <laughs> on whatever, right? It doesn't matter. The point is- We're missing all of this. And I feel like these girls are bringing it. It's like the new girls are bringing it more so than the original cast. And it's really been the opposite way. To be a fucker than a chuck. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Million percent. Are you like, what are you looking for? Long term relationship? relationship? Uh, long term relationship. Yeah. I hate being single. But I feel like this season could have potential if they bring in the right people and if they actually announce to us as to why Sharif is gone because they're playing this whole mental health card game because the last two contestants from the last few seasons obviously committed suicide and killed themselves. However, if they were playing the mental health card game, they would obviously let us know why he left because a lot of people are coming up with narratives that could damage him and his credibility and his mental health. So I feel like there's definitely an oxymoronic kind of hypocritical kind of, you know, game going on here. And the mental health act is just simply what it is, an act. So let me know what you guys think. Hit up on my Instagram, please, Mirage underscore Morali, and subscribe to my channel. Click that button for daily consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you. Woo!